arrived today. This, this is a 1660 Super. And in the UK, I managed to get this for £250, and it's practically brand new. Absolutely nothing wrong on this, not dust, nothing on this card. So it was, it was for a pre-build. And the build didn't sell, so they sold the card, and I got it at a good price from eBay, so... I snap that right up. Six six super, one of the most efficient mining cards out there. With the six six two, or with the what is the other one called? The six six hundred XT. Sorry, is the the other one that's quite efficient as well. So but this is right up there with that one in terms of mega hash. So we've got this, and I'm really excited to put it in to my rig. And. Um, I'm pleased with this bias and I want to really see how well it can go and how, how well I can get the watts because power in the UK is expensive so this is a great card though, they were the buy. Alright we're on NB miner now, mining Ethereum and we're just looking at what overclock we can get on this card, at the minute we're at minus 200 on the clock and on the core clock and a thousand on the memory and we're looking at around 30.3 mega hash or 30.4 now but we've had a reject and we've not messed with power yet so what I'm going to try and do is max out the hash rate first and then we'll see about getting the power down So, power wise, we're at 124 watts, 122 watts now. Got a pretty good hash rate at the minute, but I'll try and squeeze some more out. So, we'll just up the core clock, uh, the memory clock a bit more, and then we'll see where we tap out at. So, I'll put the, car, uh, the memory clock up to. I've put the other clock up to 1100 on the other clock and looks like we've got a crash. So that's not good. So I'll have to reload and dial that back a bit and we'll try 1150. See if we can get that stable and that'll be probably the maximum. So we'll do that now. Right, so we're back on. We had the crash, and this is kind of the hash rate it gets at default settings, which is still better than what I was getting on my 1070 that this card kind of replaced. The best I could manage on that 1070 from Palette was 26.5 mega hash at 119 power. So this is a little worse than that, but this is stock settings, so. We're gonna carry on, and we was at a thousand last time. Was a state last time it was stable on the memory. So we'll put this back to a thousand, and we had minus two hundred on the core, and that's just from what I've seen on the nice hash guide. So when I've got the memory set, we'll uh, maybe put that to zero. Because having it on zero will help for Kapow, for profit switching, in case Kapow does get, get up there. So, right, we'll put that in. So this will all change around in a second. Right, so we're stabilized now again. Looks like we're at Looks like we're at 30.6 mega hash at a power of 123. Now I'm not going to jump up by 100 this time, which is probably a bit, probably a bit of a uh, mistake. But we're going to go up to 1050 and see if this will stay. If it does, that's where I'll leave it because we did get a crash at 1100. I don't want to be. Oh, right, okay. So we've got another crash here. 
Ja. It did crash. It wasn't. It didn't crash the entire system like it did last time. It's kind of just. I don't know what it's done actually. It's probably not a good sign though. So it, it's like it's reset the the hash rate. So maybe we'll have to try that one again. So a thousand might be the highest we can go here. We'll try ten two five. Just to see if we can get anything more out of it. Get that core down. Although, I don't know if it's on that much difference anyway. So, we're going to try 10 to 5 on the memory. On the memory that, and see if this will. This will be stable. So the mega crash is starting to go up now. Look, we're not at a crash straight away, so this might be the limit, which is not too bad. Nice hash on their website said 900, and I was expecting around 30 mega hash. That was my expectation with this card. So if we can get that and the power right down. And that's a good result because the card that's replaced was a bit power hungry for the mega ash it produced. 30.76, that's, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Let's try and keep that as high as we can now while getting the power down. So that's the next part of the overclocking. And obviously, getting the power down will get that temperature right down as well. Fan speed on auto, it's at 76. I do like to set my own fan speeds. Right, so we're going to assume around 30.7 then. 30.75, that's not too bad on the mega hash. So let's, let's have a look at the power now. Let's drop the power to 80 and see what happens. So getting the power down on 8% doesn't seem to have affected things too much. Focus. Let's get some focus here. So I've lost a, a, a little little bit, but we've saved 21 watts, or 26 watts even. And that's at 8%. So we'll drop it another 10% and hopefully it will keep above 30. So we're at 70% power limit now and the hash has not dropped, so we're still at 30.66 or 30.7. So the hash is the same as it was at 100%, but we've saved a lot of power. We're at 86, 87 watts right now, so we're going to drop it another 10% and see if we can keep this hash rate up. So we're at 60% power limit and we've dropped all the way down to 75 watts now, which is really efficient. And if anything, the hash rate's gone up. <laughs> I don't know how. But we're clocking in 30.78 mega hash without any rejects as well, so super stable at the minute. And we've only got a bit more <laughs> power limit we can reduce, so we're going to go all, all the way to the bottom, which is 56%. And I'm assuming that'll be all we can do on this card without messing with the voltage. So we'll do that now and see what we're going to get. So dropping the power right to the bottom of the slider doesn't really change much from having it at 60. We're at 30.77 in terms of mega hash, which I think is fantastic. I don't know if I can squeeze any more out by trying to clock, clock positives on my old Pascal card that seems to work sometimes. So we're at 30.8 mega hash, so we've gained mega hash from lowering, lowering the power. 
and super efficient card, uh, really good card, really pleased with this card, it's fantastic. Um, and then we'll have a bit of a game of it in a bit as well. So I'm going to quickly so look at the, put the core up a little bit and see if we can get any more Mega Rush out of it without getting any more power. And if not, then we'll just wrap up this video. In setting the core to plus 100 seems to lower the Mega Hash a little bit. But having it at zero seems to have done nothing to the Mega Hash at all. So, well maybe it's slightly gone up, I don't know. But I'm going to leave it at zero and that will help with the profit switch for Kapow in case it needs to do that. And we might do a separate video on Kapow. As you can see it's gone up to nearly 30.9 so there is a bit of a difference with the core clock there. If you higher it, if, if you put it to zero they're having minus 200. So we don't want to go negative. But we're 75 watts is the best of thing we can do on this. Um, looks like we're still getting a bit more, a bit more hash. Might pop up to 31. So if it is 31, which it nearly is, that's a really good result for us with this card. 250 pounds for this card. And even when if 2.0 comes in, we're going to have such a low power. So I'm, I'm quite happy with this one. If you live in, in the UK and you're paying a lot of electric, this is a really good card for you. Short two quid a day. That's on that's the beginning of October, right? So yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the the video on the sixteen sixty super, and we'll get round to all the other cards soon as well. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.